Hi Capricorn, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of December 2022. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer, and I would love if you would like, share, subscribe, and if you would like your own personal reading from me, definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. You can also email me at uh, lamar.townsend at gmail.com or also text me at 703-791-9162. This is also my website if you all wanted to purchase a reading from me, just so you all know. This is what my website looks like, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook as well. And if you would like your own reading, go right to the store section. This is where you can go to view all the rates, services, products, classes, and different types of things I do offer. I do offer many different types of readings, classes, candles, and things, so definitely check everything out. I offer email readings, for example, phone readings, video recorded readings where you send your questions, and I record myself doing your reading on my own time, and then I email you the video reading to download and keep within one to three days or less, typically. I also do offer um, candles as well. Um, and I also do offer mediumship readings if you want to connect with the spiritual realm. I offer past life readings. Um, and I also offer tarot classes, astrology classes, and so much more. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, Capricorn, definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Let's go ahead and cleanse the cards. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy. Bestek can you pass reading? Amen, 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 amen. Let's see. What's coming up for Capricorn in the month of December 2022? What can Spirit tell us about what's coming up for Capricorn in the month of December 2022? The first card I get is the Four of Cups for you, Capricorn. Four of Cups is a card, first of all, the number four deals with friends, acquaintances, social groups, social networking. It could also deal with social media, the internet, technology. Four of Cups is a need for like an emotional connection in some way or feeling emotionally connected. So there could be an energy of you feeling, a lack of you feeling emotionally connected to other people or something around you. It's like... It could be boredom, but it feels <clears throat> a bit more nuanced than just boredom. It's like feeling disconnected or lost amongst people or the people. Like being in your own bubble, you know? Like it's kind of like that energy. I get the high priestess showing up connected to your money, finances, and personal belongings. The high priestess could be definitely, this could be you. Definitely mastering your money in some way, shape, or form. Being spiritually guided with your money or finances in some way, shape, or form. Particularly by maybe a female ancestor. And particularly as the high priestess can sometimes be denoted with a spirit guide, an ancestor, um, or things of this nature. Um, also could be that your money is highly protected at this time. I will say that a uh, high priestess can also be a pregnancy card. So some of you may be dealing with pregnancy in some way, shape, or form, possibly um as well in regards to maybe finances or personal belongings in some way shape or form some of you are just kind of like spiritually opening yourselves to be honest with you to a new level of finances at this time and you may start to see the reimbursement of that energy coming in 
Alright, so some of you are spiritually reaching a new height financially, actually. That's exciting. But I get the Hermit card in your placement of thoughts, communication, and the mind. The Hermit card in this position, once again, can be an energy of feeling lost, being disconnected. Um, it could definitely be an energy of you being bored. Um, a little bit unhappy with your current circumstances in some way, shape, or form. Definitely would say be, be mindful of your mental health. Um, particularly if you just have random bouts of sadness. Maybe take a moment, rest, make sure you're getting your rest, make sure you're, you're getting your proper nutrition. Especially if it's like an up and down, you know, if you need to seek a, pro a licensed professional. Um, some of you just need to cleanse your energy, take a spiritual bath. Like, I'm getting this kind of energy, particularly with your mind. You know, there could be like... This energy of feeling disconnected or like a woe is me or a why am I the only one going through this. But I feel like you're not the only one going through this. I get the ten of wands connected to your emotions, family, and the home. Yeah. Emotionally, it's like there could be... Some pressure, some drama... Some unexpected circumstances you don't want to deal with. It also could involve of the home in some way, shape, or form, or the family. The Ten of Wands showing up. Um, mm. If the Five of Cups showing up connected to your self expression, creativity, romance, connection to your purpose. Some of you need to be mindful of, of ruminating over what's not going right <clears throat> and appreciate what is go. Some of you need to be mindful of ruminating over what's going wrong and appreciate what's going right or what's not happening in the time frame. I get the Knight of Cups showing up connected to your work job daily routine. I feel like Spirit is putting people in your path to help you or to help you get focused or back on track in some way, shape or form. Because there's an energy of you kind of like thinking like, how is this going to happen? Like, you know, there's always setbacks. It's like focusing on like what seems to be going wrong rather than what could potentially go right. I get a king of wands showing up connected, connected to your one-on-one -on -one relationships. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Virgo person. That is typically someone in their early or early to mid-20s to, you know, late 30s, early 40s. King of wands is typically a bit someone a bit older more mature, someone in a position of power in some way, shape, or form. Facing the King of Pentacles, which this could be your energy. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, uh, Libra. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a Scorpio person. There's quite a few people showing up. I feel like Spirit is putting people in your path to help. Spirit is putting people in your path to guide you. All right? Here we get the Nine of Pentacles showing up connected to your self-expression or your um, long distance travel, higher self, higher education, higher learning, personal opinions, beliefs, stepping outside your comfort zone. There's a need to step outside your comfort zone in some way. There's a need to do something different. For some of you, it could involve travel or being open to different cultures religions beliefs i get the devil card they're showing up connected to your past karma debt career this could deal with addictions the devil card can deal with a codependent relationship the devil card can deal with something toxic from your past in some way it could also be related to the father energy or the father side of the family for some of you this is an interesting month capricorn the last card i get is the four of pentacles um You've got quite a bit going on this month, Capricorn, but with the, what I feel like is happening is Spirit is putting people in your path for a reason, or Spirit is putting your pe people in your path to help. 
in some way, shape, or form. So whatever it is you go through this month, don't feel like you're going through it alone or don't feel like, oh, like it's the end of the world. Like, just, I feel like just ask and encourage spirit once again to put the right people in your path. Because I feel like I see, once again, I get like two men and a knight of cups here who, who could be a male, man and a woman. But then I also get the high priestess who could be a spirit guide or an ancestor as well. So there's people looking out here. Who's, who have got your back. Like the universe, spirit, God, people out here got your back. All right, with whatever you're going through. Some of you, something from the past needs to be resolved. Um, I feel like there's also a need to be mindful of who you associate with, even if it's on a acquaintance level, even via social media or the internet. All right. I would also say don't feed into any negativity um and with the nine of pentacles i feel this energy of like you've definitely got some good things coming but it's through stepping outside your comfort zone stepping out on faith so don't be distracted by whatever drama the enemy, you know, the devil, whatever it is you believe, tries to put in your pathway, okay? Because I feel like there's an inner energy here of... You have some good things coming your way. So... There's also a need to be secretive, like, about what you... What you have going on. All right? Don't sabotage, don't jinx things by telling the wrong people or the wrong person all the good, all the blessings you've got. Because the Nine of Pentacles also shows up in a position of good luck and blessings. So whatever's going on, um, cut the cords of the past, you know. Let's get your final card. And remember, Spirit is putting people in your path to, to help. Spirit is putting people in your path for a reason. What final message does Spirit have for Capricorn for December Alright, you got the thank you universe for helping me to see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is of the highest good. Mm. I think that's the lesson here. Spirit is trying to teach you, despite whatever else is going on, focus on the good. Alright. Thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. I think all this is fear. We're just trying to create fear. But remember, thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. All right. The highest good always wins. So, all right. Thank you, Capricorn, for allowing me to read for you. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and insight. If you want your own personal reading, contact me on my website, lamartownsintero.com, or text me at 703-791-9162. Or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your support. Love and light. God bless. I'll see you in your own personal reading or I'll see you in the next video. Either way, I'll see you soon.
psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.